Alrighty then, good afternoon all you fantastic people, uh, Silver Dragon here, coming at you with a short little discussion video on Castle Story. Now a lot of people have been asking me for uh, quite a while now, and especially recently there have been uh, quite a few people to continue my series on Castle Story. And I've been mulling over it uh, for quite a bit, you know, on one side, yes it was one of the more popular series that I had, and if I cared for views alone, that would be definitely something I would... You know, as one would probably say for that milk dry, I'm sub I suppose. But no, that's not how I roll. So, to be honest, this is a game that has been in development for a very long time now. Back in the original Kickstarter, uh, which finished up in August of 2012. Shortly afterwards, we gained access to the prototype build, which was quite, little, quite fun. You know, we were able to uh, build some quarry pits, we were able to build some castles, you know, it was, it was basic, but it was fun, for the most part. Uh, a year later, in September of uh, 2013, they released on Steam Early Access, you know, to not the best reviews, to say the least, which is understandable for the amount of content that was in the game and what got added at a trickle pace over time. But, uh, of course, here we are. Uh, another three years later, now 2016, and their website had slated a version 1.0 release earlier this year, which has obviously been pushed back as it still is in early access up to summer of this year. Uh, beyond now, beyond that, God knows, maybe they'll do like an early next year, or who knows. But either way, 1.0 is around the horizon, as it were. And considering the amount of content that we have, even right now, I just can't help but be incredibly disappointed. To be honest, and you know, this is a game that I was incredibly excited for. I mean, back in the Kickstarter, I even went so far as to pay extra to get the shirt even, or one of the shirts. So, you know, that's not something I do for just any damn game for that, you know. And I was, uh, you know, really wanting to give more money to the development of this game and, you know, to the hope that it would eventually become something that I would love. Like, I really do love... Uh, RTS style games where you get to build your own defenses however you like and uh, you know set up your walls how you like them throw whatever you need on them and so on and so forth but all in all I don't really see that in this kind of the scale that I would have always liked to see in any game and even this one uh, as you could remember from my 100 wave series you know we had an insane amount of lag at that time uh, but we had, of course, you know, 60 to 80 plus Bricktrons either on the walls or mining stuff for us and building crazy shit. So one of the biggest nails to me was the more recent update, which although it did add conquest mode, the multiplayer tweaks and enhancement and all the other little fun things, you know, it did add some good content, but it also had instituted a cap on the amount of Bricktrons you could have, which is, I'm assuming, in an attempt to solve the massive optimization and lag issues that have plagued the game pretty much since the beginning. But that just seemed like the wrong way to go about it. And I'm not sure if that cap is still enforced for invasion mode, but either way, it was really... It, it just sucked, to say the least. Now, all in all, you know, we've had the same, you know, couple maps for so damn long now, although there were community-made maps that were made. I don't even know if you can still access and install those anymore or how to go about that, although that could breathe some additional life into the game. It just sucks that by default, they couldn't have done something along those lines themselves. I mean, you know, even taking some of those community maps and throwing them in as just official maps, you know, maybe doing a contest for that, instead of just a design contest for, oh, make the best castle or make the best pyramid or something, you know. Or more recently, the best village, if I'm not mistaken, was one. Now, this is definitely a game where it can still be good if you have a really good design sense and want to build really cool structures and whatnot and just make everything look, you know, fantastic in that regard. But unfortunately, I am not, I am not creatively, artistically inclined in that direction for that. So there's, you know, that's not going to happen for me. Although I'd love to do videos along those lines, I just don't have the creativity nor the time to do so. As much as I hate to say it, being off on a full-time job now, I end up just, I just you know, have an extremely limited amount of time that I can actually uh, develop stuff, which is a bloody shame. And also, the quality of which has dipped a little bit uh, due to just not having the time to really refine it as much as I would have liked. But, uh, yeah, just, I as, as things stand, I'm 
just really damn disappointed with the ser with the game as a total, or as in its entirety. Although, you know, I understand they're going to have to do a 1.0 version soon. You know, the money is eventually going to run out. They're not going to have a choice in the end. But I do hope they can at least come up with, you know, release something that is fun for people to dive into and play. I mean, the game's never been expensive. This isn't. This was never a thirty-dollar early access or a fifty-dollar early access game. You know, it's always been like ten to twenty bucks. Nothing and nothing crazy. I mean, you pay that even as is. You're going to get your money's worth. But for the kind of lengthy series and the amount of time I threw into it uh, over time, I just can't drag myself back to such small amount of content to do something with it it's just not working for me to say the least in that regard so until we get some serious content to the game something you know that changes everything in that regard or at least not not even that but just adds a decent good quality chunk of content or maybe even stream of content rather than one drop every six months maybe give us you know uh, one content drop a month that adds maybe a new map or something, anything, goddammit. But it's just not that kind of development cycle. So, until something like that happens, maybe version 1.0 might be something worth checking out, but as much as I hate to say it, I just, I'm, I can't keep producing content for that one. It's just, I don't have the drive and the love for the series that I used to. So, I just don't want to keep beating that dead horse, as it were. <laughs> uh, so, yes. As, as much as I hate to say it for those that enjoy the series, and I do apologize to you guys. You, you know, thank you. Thank you very much, regardless, for watching the videos that I did put up. I do appreciate it. I really do. Uh, but I just can't keep producing the content for this with when there's just nothing to, to make content on, for the most part. Uh, at least for me. So yeah, regardless everybody, thank you very much for watching. Uh, hope you all enjoyed this slight little discussion slash rant. <laughs> uh, if you did not, then apologies. Maybe, ne maybe the next video will be more interesting to you. And uh, I will catch you all another time. And maybe, maybe another time for you as well, Castle Story. Maybe. Till then.